In this video, I'm going to go through my six top pieces of advice that I've shared with hundreds of clients over my 17 year career as a hairstylist. Now, the best thing about these tips is every single one of them is universal, which means that you can use these no matter what your hair type is, no matter what your hairstyle is, or what your personal needs are when it comes to your hair. The first one, though, is for those of you who blow dry your hair. Now, when it comes to blow drying, I've seen this time and time again. My clients will tell me they start at the nape of the neck in sections. They feel very proud to be putting their hair in sections and blow drying each area meticulously and then working up towards the front. That can work if you're quick at blow drying or if you just love the process, that can work OK. However, my best piece of advice here, whether it comes to blow drying, straightening, tonguing your hair, start at the front. Start with these areas around here, get this area done first, then this area, then the crown, and then finish with the back. That means that when you've got the most interest and energy at the task at hand, you're starting in the place where you and everyone else can see the most. That's gonna make such a big difference to how good your hair looks because you're starting at the focal point. Your last section is under here, which I would argue is gonna be seen the least out of everything because not only is it at the back, but it's underneath the rest of your hair as well. This works for all lengths of hair. You'll get the best result at the front of your hair and if you get fed up halfway through it doesn't matter because you're going to see the front more anyway. Number two, if ever your hair is misbehaving and you just can't figure out what's going wrong, do a clarifying shampoo. Now this might be once a week, once a fortnight, once a month, depending on what your hair needs. Clarifying shampoos typically do make the colour fade faster so be cautious of this if you have a hair colour that fades very quickly but if you're blonde or if you lose brightness in your hair they'll actually improve the look of your colour most of the time. Now there are some clarifying shampoos that actually are color safe and brighten the look of the hair without fading pigments so you can look out for those as well but nine times out of ten the problems that you're facing with your hair whether it be the styles are fading too quickly uh, it needs to be washed again more quickly than you want it to it doesn't sit right it's tangly it's sticky or scalp is being problematic any of those things are typically caused by buildup of products or minerals on your hair and on your scalp if you're not sure what to do and you can't figure out what's going wrong with your hair start with the clarifying shampoo i guarantee you it's going to help Number three, leave a bottle of serum or an oil of some kind on your nightstand next to your bed. Now this is all about habit stacking. So when it comes to mid-length and long hair, the ends of the hair have been growing out of your scalp a much longer time ago. They're older hair, so they're more prone to splitting, getting dry, getting dehydrated. When it comes to moisture and keeping the hair supple and conditioned, it's a little and often approach that works best. So having that bottle on your nightstand means that you can use that right before you go to sleep at night, put a few drops on the ends of your hair, rub the rest into the backs of your hands you're going to wake up with nourished hands and nourished hair you might start doing that every single night that might become part of your nightly routine or it might just be necessary once a week or simply from time to time as you run your hands through your hair at night getting ready to sleep if they catch on the ends or if the ends feel rough or dry a few drops of serum is going to sort that right out Number four, this is when it comes to shampooing your hair. Spend 30 extra seconds shampooing your hair. When you think you're done, do it again and count to 30. That's gonna do a few things. Number one is some of the big problems when it comes to hairstyles and keeping styles lasting in your hair is that you haven't washed your hair properly. Those extra 30 seconds tracing over your scalp with your fingertips are gonna make sure that shampoo can really do its job before you rinse it away. It's also a moment of mindfulness. When we're in the shower washing our hair, it's that moment for your nervous system to settle and that few seconds of just connecting with your body, feeling your fingertips running over your scalp is gonna make you feel so much better and bring your stress and nervous system right down into a calmer place. Finally, it's actually gonna stimulate blood flow to your scalp, which is gonna promote healthy hair growth. So if you have any concerns over the speed at which your hair is growing or how healthy you feel like it's growing out of your head, those extra few seconds built up every day or every few days or every week are really gonna help your follicles produce healthy hair. Number five, you can do this one right now. Find a tangle teaser or a soft brush or a wide tooth comb and go and put it in your shower or wherever you wash your hair. Next time you go and shampoo your hair, you're gonna have that within arm's reach to detangle and to smooth that conditioner through your mid lengths and ends. This is a really good piece of advice for a few different reasons. The first is, well, if you detangle your hair with conditioner in, it's gonna pull less, it's gonna detangle more easily and it's gonna save you time when you're out of the shower. 
it's also going to smooth the conditioner down the strand of your hair. Now, microscopically, your hair has almost like tiles on a roof going down the strand. So when you shampoo your hair, they lift a little bit to clean the hair. And when you put conditioner on, it sits on top of the cuticle. By brushing down that strand, you're smoothing that cuticle layer, tightening everything down and making sure that your hair is shinier. And it's even going to help your hair dry faster because your cuticle is lying flat. So any water gets run off the hair more easily. Now the last one is in a similar kind of category. It's about detangling. Detangle your hair at half the speed that you instinctively want to. I think we've seen in movies people ripping through their hair really roughly and quickly with the wrong kind of brush to give yourself a fluffier aerated look. Now that looks nice sometimes, but I, I would argue that that's actually ripping the hair pulling it out, breaking it off, and really causing you problems. Even if you lose a couple of hairs every time you brush your hair, built up over the course of the week or a month, that's gonna turn into a lot of hair loss. By simply pausing and detangling your hair at half the speed that you instinctively want to, you are gonna dramatically reduce the amount of hair that you pull out, hair that you break, and the amount of friction that your hair is subjected to. Now, I know, although you may have heard of some of these tips before, you are not employing all six. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna figure out which piece of advice is the least commonly known. Let me know if there was one that you hadn't heard of or you hadn't thought of and which one has changed your hair the most.